Hello there, and welcome to Music Lessons with Mrs. Morris. Today we are going to learn about a time in history known as the Classical Period. Now the Classical Period falls between the Baroque and the Romantic Period, with most of the music being composed between 1750 and 1825. Hey, I thought all the music we've been learning about is classical music. Yes, that is true, Sadie, but there is also a time in history known as the Classical Period. I don't get it. Okay, let me explain. When you hear some people refer to music as classical music, they are often meaning serious music, or anything that is not modern like jazz, rock, or even country. But musicians use the term classical music to refer to the music that was written between 1750 and 1825. The music we call classical music was being developed in Europe during the middle of the 18th century. Many changes were happening in music, architecture, literature, and other forms of the arts. This was known as neoclassicism because the artists and the craftsmen were copying the principles of art created first by the Romans and the Greeks. The music of the classical period was both elegant and formal. It was considered orderly and sometimes simple. The Baroque period composers used to compose elaborate works with intricate textures and melodies, but the classical composers, their music tended to be more simple. This was known as homophony, meaning that there is often a predominant melody with a chordal accompaniment, just like the one you are hearing right now. Let's take some time to listen to Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. I hope you enjoyed the music. Um, let's see, what were we talking about? Oh yes, the classical period. It was a time when instrumental music became more popular than choral music. Forms like the symphony and the concerto became popular and composers would write much of their music for the orchestra. Due to the improvements of many instruments of the orchestra, the orchestra now doubled in size. The harpsichord would soon be replaced by an instrument known as the pianoforte. What's a pianoforte? That's a good question, Bella. Why don't you Google it before our next class? Then be ready to let me know what you learned. Even though instrumental music was becoming more popular, composers were still writing operas and oratorios and even cantatas. Choral music was still being composed for the church, but a new trend was occurring. Composers were being hired by wealthy people known as aristocrats. One wealthy man named Prince Esterhazy commissioned Franz Joseph Haydn to compose music for his parties and events. A person who employs composers was called a patron. This was an important change for composers because now they had a more solid form of income, allowing them to write more freely and more often. There were many composers during the classical period, but the most famous composers of this era were Franz Joseph Haydn, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Ludwig van Beethoven, and Franz Schubert. However, today you have also been listening to music by Muzio Clementi and Cecilia Maria Barthelemon. Thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Music Lessons with Mrs. Morris. Now today we just covered some of the basics of the classical period, but next time we meet we'll learn some more. Until then, check out these words over here. Choose one and research it, and when you come back, tell me what you've learned.
to sing so fetch.